stories of the people and the experiences we share. This is Matt Stell Reports. A trip to Lubbock's holiday happenings this past Christmas has led to a new chapter in the life of Kenyon, Hannah, and their son, Aiden Andrews. The eight-year-old is like any other kid his age. He's energetic, he loves sports, but he sometimes has a hard time focusing. Hopefully, his newest adventure helps him figure that all out. At Pittman's Academy in Lubbock, an ancient form of art is being taught. Martial arts, that is. Professor Pittman's newest students, eight-year-old Aiden and dad Kenya. When we are tackling giants, for example, hey, I'm that giant that he is not having to imagine, like he's actually like seeing it. And so I'm actually able to like let him know, hey, I want you to take dad down. It's not uncommon to see boys like Aiden learn jiu-jitsu at this age, but as a young kid with ADHD, many say that these types of lessons can actually help with focusing more in school and impulse control. One of the main reasons why the Andrews family signed their son up. He was officially diagnosed um, when he was in kindergarten. So about two years ago, we're both educators. So we knew it when he was about three. You know, it's a, it's a lot to have a child with ADHD. So we've been looking, I guess, for a while to find something that would help kind of rein that in some. And Clay Pittman's training seemed to be the best option, especially when you consider that he probably understands Aiden a lot better than most. Being a young kid and having ADHD, you look around the room and you realize the people are smarter than me, they can answer questions faster than me, they can write better than me. And then you start going, what does that mean about me? What does that say about me? You know, does it mean that I'm dumb? Does it mean that my life's not going to work out? You start to treat your heart with uh, not a lot of worth. But my martial arts training gave me a different message about myself, a different understanding of who I am and how the world works and my place in it. So what exactly is ADHD? Anywhere from 5 to 11 percent of the population have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. It's thought to be a neurochemical and genetic disorder that affects people their entire lives. So their prefrontal cortex is often under de un underdeveloped, so behaviors requiring executive functions are often a real struggle for them. Things like sitting still, focusing, talking, remembering things. And Walker says yes, in most cases, activities like martial arts do help with improving both overall focus and behavior. They are exercising, which activates their brain and gets rid of some of their excess energy. They're also both in an individual and a group. They have the group aspect as well, which can provide positive social interactions, achievement of goals, increased self-confidence. You learn to wait your turn and move second. So you're always processing the indicators. And because of that, you learn how to look at yourself and respond. You learn how to respond using wisdom versus emotion. And because you're able to do it in one environment and have some success, you start to internalize, well, you know what, what if I took these same internal strategies that I'm learning through martial arts and applied it in different areas of life? Back at the academy, Aiden's jiu-jitsu lesson alongside dad still seems to be going well. And mom says at home, there's been some great improvement. And that's really brought him to that level of, okay, I can, fight off bullies if I have to, but it's also just, it's given him an outlet where he feels seen, heard, and he feels like he has something special. And it's special not just for him, but for him and daddy. Professor Pittman adds that if your child has ADHD and shares some of those same struggles as Aiden, give martial arts a try. You can find his academy near 34th and Avenue W. Tech. says.